Hello, how's it going today? It's Funky here and I'm back with another movie review. If you hear noise outside, it's just the windows open and there's, you know, vehicles driving and stuff like cars or where whoever else is outside anyway. But yeah, I apologize for the noise. And I'm going to be talking about this movie, which probably has the best twist I've ever seen in any movie. Even ending to a movie. It's a dumb, it, it, it's done at first and then it starts getting quite interesting. It's it's a movie that was like it's hard to explain. <laughs> Literally, it's easy to explain. It's about this character called Henry, and he's an agoraphobe or something like that. I don't know. I think he means he's um scared to socialize got a side of I mean, he does go out, but he has a fear of doing that. And he's over. He lives with this um roommate, Eric, who's a failed actor or something like that. And Henry looks at these webcams and he looks at these you know who he calls his friends and stuff like that, but. Doesn't mean really talk or talk to him, or he just spies on them technically, and he suspects a wonder being a serial killer, and he um he sees this like he sees a wonder web comes that this woman's behaving strangely with men that she brings round, and he sort and then he sort of sees like I think oh, I don't know what I think he sees like an organ or something like some sort of meat that is that doesn't look like an animal it's more like a human meat and he looks at it, he he's like, uh. I mean, by the way, the movie is called I, I Without a Face. That's what the movie is called. Forgot to put that in there. Um, and, he, and he suspects that, you know, she's a serial killer and stuff like that. And, you know, he sees her friends eating, like, this human meal or whatever from this dude that she murdered. And this, you know, who he suspects this woman starts killing all, all you know, the people, you know, some of the webcamers that he likes. It's a mad rap. I and mean, she knew that he was spying on her. He also sees visions of his dad his dead dad basically is his aggressive controlling dad that haunts him and that's gonna come in that's gonna come in later on why that's significant and you know Eric says it's all in his head which it which it never is in these sort of situations people do witness stuff like this it's never in their head like never disbelieve someone that says you know that says they've seen things even they're on medication even they've got some sort of health issues that like mentally or physically Never disbelieve it because it could be their minds could be different from ours, right? Don't go off topic there. It's it's one of those where the first twenty minutes the acting was a bit dull. But I wasn't enjoying it, I wasn't hooked enough. This movie's like an hour and thirty eight minutes on basically. It didn't hook me up, but when it got to just over twenty minutes, it started to, you know, really hook me in a little bit. It wasn't as intense as other movies out there where, you know, the last half an hour it gets in you know, intense or the last hour you got to scare. It wasn't gripping or tense. I nearly fell asleep in some of it. But the ending, I'm going to tell you about soon, which is a cracking twist, which would really make the rating a bit higher. But, I mean, obviously, watch the movie first, right? Watch the movie. That's what I'm going to tell you. I don't know if I said it at the start. I don't think I should have done I should say it every single movie in the series, if I do. Watch the movie from the start, because this movie will make you really think, oh, my God, Really? Now, there's so many explanations for what's going on here. Now, I used to, I had all these fears that always oh, this, is he dreaming, is he this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to explain that to you soon. And then he sees like these recordings and then he, um, and then, you know, he, he does act like a bit like a creep, basically. He goes, you know, he called this like call girl, but this webcam chick that just thinks for money. And he, uh, he told even, you know, he knew where she lives and he even said it, blah, blah. It made him like a creep. And it's, it's really... I don't have to describe this movie, I really don't. And I'll keep, you know, pausing here and there. But this movie is kind of like confusing because it doesn't look that good at first. But when you see towards the end of it, you're going to realise, oh, wow, okay. And then he keeps, you know, having her lose of his dad. And Eric goes to this Lowen, this girl called Lowen's house. You know, that's her name, Lowen. And, you know, he wants to see what's going on. He wants you know, to see it for himself. And he realizes he's trapped in the end. He sits down in the sofa with her, and she has a knife out to his throat. It's, uh, I mean, it's quite, you know, you, you, you know, you begin to think, oh, Eric, you know, finally, you know, gonna believe, you know, Henry and stuff like that. You know, and then eventually, Eric starts to sweet talk into not doing any harm to him. The cop says, you're thinking, that, okay, she, he was actually telling the truth for a long time, he wasn't crazy. You know, starts taking it, and you think, okay, Eric's gonna die then. Doesn't work out. The next scene, Eric comes in to talk to Henry. Yeah, he talks to Henry. He says, "Oh, everything's okay." I was like, "Okay, he's probably dead, and maybe Henry's dreaming, or maybe, maybe Eric's in on it. Who knows?" 
you just don't know. Maybe Eric's in on this too, or maybe it's like one. Maybe I was thinking, maybe it's because of what he does. Maybe it's like some sort of webcam movie that he's making. At the end, it's just gonna say, "Oh, it's all just like a movie that we were making." Not necessarily, you know. And you begin to see that towards the end, there's that this person had a mask on. This killer had a red mask that, you know, um, Henry's dad was wearing. You know, in a picture when Henry was a kid, and in my head, I was just thinking, why? It's a bit bizarre, dog. I never really thought of the mask like that. I just thought, why has this person got this mask? But then, maybe the twist was there in, in plain sight. It's quite a confusing one. Because you think, okay, maybe Eric's probably doing this. I don't know. It, it's a confusing one. Because people may think I'm stupid for thinking, oh, he had the mask on. So obviously, it has something to do with that then. It could be someone he knows. It could be like, whatever. I was like, don't know yet. I mean, and then you have this, and then the person, the killer goes and stabs Eric. Okay, you're thinking, oh, Lowen's found out this time. The kid goes into a room because he hears or she hears something. And it's Lowen, I think it's Lowen, whoever it is. It's Lowen, somebody else, I don't know who it is. It's like, yeah, Lowen comes in. And then it's just him. I'm thinking, why is Lowen doing all this? I mean, what's going on? I thought Lowen was doing all this. Confusing, right? I mean, and then she goes into checking Eric. And then the killer comes in with the mask. And then he tries to attack her and he goes in her room and he, I mean, I think she obviously attacks him back and he goes in the bed. And she just walks in the room and, and, and he just takes a mask off and it's Henry. Plot twist. What a weird, confusing, incredible plot twist to a movie. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, the red mask had to be him all along because he's probably the crazy one. But it didn't make any sense. Because you would think he's sitting there watching these people getting killed. I thought these tapes were live. It's pre-recorded. It was probably pre-recorded the entire time. I was able to watch him. But then you're thinking, no one had a weapon on her. She was going to stop everything. So what the, on earth is going on? This literally doesn't make a tiny bit of sense to me. But the plot twist is pretty cl clever and creative, though. And he begins to tell her, oh, I thought it was you doing so long. It was actually my dad. His dad possessed him. That explains the red mask. Oh my god, it, it, you may think it doesn't make sense. I think the plot just was cle crazy clever because no one would have suspected it was him. And it's it's just like a jumbly storyline. This is not a highly rated movie, by the way. A bit of work needed to go into, the acting needed to be better. Overall, there needs to be more tension, the build up needs to be better. But because of that ending, which still confuses me, it's, it's actually a good thing. I was gonna give it a five or six, but you know what, because of that ending, because of how much the movie confuses me in such a good way, kind of. I give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I'm sorry, but you can't... I, I've seen a movie... I've seen movies where it's got crazy plot twists that, you know... So, it's, they always have stuff like that. But this movie... This movie would have been better having jump scares in it as well. I'm not going to lie to you. Jump scares that needed this movie so badly. That's what, that's what I was waiting for. But Henry did all this... But you see her, so, I mean, was he, I mean, was he imagining that night part from our point of view? I don't know. I mean, if you hear that, it's a kid screaming outside. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, 7 out of 10 it is. I, I don't know what else I can say about this. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, share, and you know, subscribe and hit the notification below. And I'll see you in my next video.